Good morning, kiddos, and congratulations on finishing your very first unit of world history. Now we are at the point where it's time to take our exam. Now, one part of your exam you're going to do with me. That is called the Islam multiple choice component. Part one is that. Now, this is part two. Part two is called the Islam DBQ, also known as a document based question. Now, the way that you have probably already got here so far is you go up here to classwork, obviously you click it, and you've made it here to Friday. Now what you're going to do, you're going to open up this Google form. It's called Islam DBQ. Now what you are going to see is you are going to see this. Um, start off by putting your first name and your last name. Uh, and let me read the instructions to you. Read both document A from the Quran and document B from the Bible. Then use the information to answer all six questions, comparing and contrasting the similarities and differences between Muslims, Christians, and Jews. I'm hoping that this rings a bell because we might have done something very similar in class together. So here are your two documents. I've put them all over this form, so you'll see these a lot. Document A, this is from the Quran. Document B, this is from the Bible. Then you're going to work your way down into this. Now, if we were in class, you'd actually be writing an essay, but I figured virtually it's easier to do it baby steps. So you have six questions here. Go through all six questions, which are the following quotes from document A is most similar to document B. You need to find a similarity between document A and document B. You need to find first the similar quote in document A. Which of the following quotes from document B is most similar to document A? then find the similar quote over here. Which one is it? Finally, um, therefore, what do Allah of Islam and God of Christianity and Judaism have in common? What is the similarity? Choose it here. Now, once we've already done the similarities, then you pop down to the differences. Following Which of the following from document A is the most different from document B? Okay, there's a quote over here that's very different than a quote over here. Tell me which quote is different. Likewise, go down, which of the following quote from document B is the most different from document A? Okay, which quote over here is very different than a quote over here? Which of those? And then finally, your last question is this. Therefore, what is the biggest difference between Allah of Islam and God of Christianity and Judaism? Which of these two shows the biggest difference? When you are done, you click submit. And remember, kids, this is out of 30 points. Take your time on this. This is the only task you have to do today, and it is officially your first exam in world history. When you're all done, you're all done. Good luck, kiddos. Looking forward to seeing you.